Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. It sure is, and I'm Ralph behind the camera. And uh, welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Um, Looks like you're having fun with one of my favorite vegetables here. It's a cauliflower, don't you know? Isn't that a beaut? Yes. Um, one of our favorite, your favorite vegetables, mine too, but you probably like it even more than I do. Well, I think one, one of the things I like is that it's versatile, and we haven't really shown a lot of fun things you can do with it, but today we will be. Yeah, so today we're making a uh, spicy, spicy roasted, roasted whole, whole cauliflower. So we're using the whole thing, and we are... I'm um, going to kind of leave the head intact. So first thing is take off all the green. Take off all the green. And that woody stem. Yeah, and try to get as much of the the stem off as you can. Um, because it's really not that great to eat. So, all right. There we go. All right. So here we just have a nice head of cauliflower. It's like We're brain food. <laughs> it looks like a brain um so we're gonna set that aside now we're gonna make kind of this dressing or coating that's gonna go on top of it the oven is preheating to 400 degrees all right all right now we're gonna take um, this is a cup and a half of yogurt plain yogurt and this is the this is the Arabic style yogurt which is very similar to the Greek style see how thick it is Ralph Yes. Nice and thick. It's got like a more of a tang than yeah. the American or the plain. And so use a Greek style or um, if you if you can get a Middle Eastern yogurt, that's great. It's if called, not... It's, it's called Labna. Labna. The, the Middle Eastern one. If, if not, otherwise, this is just fine, okay? All right, so we've got um, one lime. This is the zest and the juice of one lime. We're going to put it all in there. So you used a grater to to get the skin. Yeah, I used a little grater to get the zest, and then and then you quartered I or it. it. It was a fairly small lime. If I had a larger one, I'd use it, but I think that'll be fine. Okay, now this is the key. Here's our mix of for, spices for the coating or the marinade. Okay, two tablespoons chili powder, one tablespoon curry, one teaspoon sugar, one tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon black pepper, two teaspoons kosher salt, and one... Cumin. Actually, I think this no, is the this cumin. Is, this is the cumin. No, this is the curry. That's the curry, yeah. Cumin is a tablespoon. The curry, I believe, is a teaspoon. Yeah. Right. Yes. This is another one of those fun recipes that you can but you know what? make it to your own taste. Thank you. Spice it up however you like. Or leave things out or add things, you know. But the main thing is this coating is going to go over the cauliflower and just make it have this delicious kind of um, baked yumminess on top. So it's going to be dark, of course. You had all that chili powder in there, cumin, uh, curry. Those are all kind of darker spices. Mm, it smells good already. Okay, look at that. It's pretty looks almost, like yeah. doesn't look like great dip. <laughs> it looks give me yeah. a bag of chips. Yeah. Let's call it a day. It looks almost uh, like orangey or red. I don't know if it's being picked up properly by the color of the camera, but from the camera. But anyway, yeah. So that's okay. first step. So that's all mixed around. Easy, now, easy, easy. I've got a baking sheet here that I've uh, I put a piece of foil on it, which I've also greased. Okay, so you okay. just coat it with vegetable oil or spray. Yep. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to get our cauliflower coated. And you can um, either use your hands or a brush. I'm going to start with this. We're going to take the, we're going to put it right in the bowl. Check this like this. Does that bring back uh, memories of kindergarten and fooling around in that beautiful class? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just going to take this and spread it on. Boy, this music is dreamy, Ralph. Yeah, it's uh, Dinah Washington on a no, Sunday afternoon. Love her. Okay. So, so you just want to get all the all the nooks and crannies and cover it up nice. Yep. Yeah. So you can either, like I said, you can either use a brush like Kevin's using, or get in there with your hands and wash them up later. But yeah, I guess I'm going to do a little combination. You can here. smell um, already how good this is getting those spices it's like we said it's going to be a spicy roasted 
whole cauliflower head. So it's going to roast for about 40, 45 minutes. And um, then you know, when we take it out, we're just going to cut the cauliflower in wedges and serve it that way. So it's going to be get kind of a chunk. So like a, a, a nice side to go mm -hmm. with uh, a salad and a nice... Tonight we're actually having a nice pork uh, pork, roast. pork roast, so this will be perfect for that. Yeah, this would also be good with, um, this would be a great accompaniment to chicken. You know, it's funny, a lot of times when, when we're planning meals, we kind of plan around color. So cauliflower is normally white. And, you know, if you're having like a light colored meat, like chicken, and especially if you're having potatoes, it looks like the whole plate just looks like light colored. Like different variations. Right, so that's why like normally with, if I'm serving potatoes, I might serve a green vegetable instead or an orange vegetable like a carrot or a squash, just to make a nice color combination on the plate. But with this now, your cauliflower is gonna be beautifully colored. And then white on the inside and kind of a toasty brown on the outside. Okay, what do you think? I think that looks pretty good, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I think it looks great. All right, so, let get that off there. Now, again, the oven's at 400, center rack, and in she goes. And we'll set the timer, and we'll see in about 40 minutes. Wow. 40 minutes have passed. Smells great. Looks and oh, look at that! It's like a it big, almost looks like uh, <laughs> baked Alaska. <laughs> Dessert is served, everybody. Now, what you have to do though is you have to let this cool for about ten minutes. A good ten minutes, mm -hmm. yeah. Because that's been let it set up, up a little bit. bit. So you know what? We'll come back and cut into this beautiful. Oh. It smells incredible. Here, let me get close and let people see. Yeah, it. Give them a, can we get a good, good whiff? So we'll come back and cut into this in about ten minutes after it's cooled a little All bit right. and set up. I'll be there. Look at that. Yeah, right, right for cutting. We gave it a good ten minutes. What I'm gonna do? Look how easily it goes through. Oh yeah, it's nice and tender. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of cut wedges. Let me get a fork here. I'm gonna count wedges here and, and then put it on like a serving tray to for dinner. Yeah. Let's see. Get a big fork. And I'm just gonna put it there we go. See the inside is you know look at that. But look at the outside. So we're just gonna do it like like this and then see you can just give somebody they can just have a nice whole slice. Look yeah, at that. It's almost like, um, like a, almost reminds me of a fish or a bread or something, but that's a great, that great? simple, easy way to do cauliflower. Cauliflower. And as we said, you can spice oh, it up your own way. so good. You know, get creative with your own uh, preferred spices, but yeah, can't wait to dig in. So, Roast. could have been easier. Roasted the whole head of cauliflower um, in a beautiful, spicy, um, kind of marinade that baked right on coating very healthy because we just used yogurt some great spices and seasoning and this beautiful head of cauliflower so we had a great time making this hope you had a great time watching us and you know what we'll see you next time spicy roasted cauliflower head <laughs> yeah bye bye bye